Hello, my name is Norris and welcome to part 2 of SAS and Compass for Designers made exclusively for Web Design Tuts Plus. In the introduction we talked about three applications that you can use instead of the terminal to compile your SAS files. There's another application for Mac users. It's called CodeKit. Now CodeKit has been around for a while but it didn't support Compass. Well now it does and it does a lot more. It also compiles CoffeeScript, it minifies JavaScript, it optimizes JPEG and PNG images, and it auto-reloads your browser. Now, it doesn't reload the browser as good as Live Reload because Live Reload reloads the browser where CodeKit refreshes the page in the browser, and there is a difference. But it's a choice to make and for this project I'm going to use CodeKit. You can use whichever application you prefer, it's not going to make a difference. Now let's look at the end result that we're going to make. So we're going to use a PSD template from Dario Pineda on ThemeForest. If you want to follow along exactly, you can purchase the template for $10 but it is not a requirement because the end result is going to be a pretty simplified version of the PSD template. We're going to have a header, a navigation introduction area, a slider which is not going to be functional except these hover images because we're not going to do any JavaScript in this tutorial and three columns of a pitch, a newsletter area, a footer area and a footer itself. So it's a pretty simple template but it is going to help me demonstrate the usage of SAS. Okay now before we start doing anything else I'm just going to close these two tabs here. Okay now before we begin the tutorial I want to point you to the documentation. You have to go sas-lang.com click on documentation and then click on SAS reference. The reason I'm pointing you to the documentation is that I'm not going to be able to cover everything in the tutorial. Why? Well, look at the length of the documentation. And this is just one part of the documentation. The other part of the documentation is uh, many useful functions. Uh, you have a lot of useful functions available to you. Uh, for example, like opacity functions, uh, color functions, and more color functions. So, and that's just SAS. If we visit compassstyle.org and click on reference, here we have a reference about compass functionality. So, I'm not going to cover everything and you'll probably have to browse around each documentation and my guess is that you'll probably browse compass documentation more than SAS because, well, it's a lot prettier and it has all the reset functions and, and CSS3 functions. So you will want to browse both documentations around, um, but remember that you don't have to do anything that you don't want to do. So if you want to use only the functionality that I show you, it's perfectly fine because it's your workflow. It's not about anything else than your workflow. So if you want to use some functionality, use it. If you don't, don't use it. That's it. Okay, now that we have the documentation out of the way, um, let's start actually doing something. So I'm going to close these two tabs, uh, or maybe three tabs. Let's open up our working folder. I'm going to leave the index.html file intact but I'm going to delete everything else. So I'm going just to hit delete and if we reload the page, this is the basic HTML that we're going to have. And I'm going to put this HTML available for download and you can browse around the HTML and see its structure. Actually, let's open up the HTML. So this is how it's supposed to look. And yeah, you can just browse around the HTML. I'm not going to go explaining what I did in the HTML right now because, well, we're going to see the HTML anyway as we develop the design. Okay, 
Now that's about it for the introduction and in the next video I'm going to start by showing you some of the basic functionality in SAS like variables, functions and mixins.